My top five Ark Scorched Earth creatures. Let's get into it. Right, coming in at number five on the list is the Thorny Dragon. It is a very useful creature in Scorched Earth. It has the standard taming method being knockout, but it also can fire poison darts, a bit like the Reaper Queen. The fact that it has poison spikes adds an extra element to this creature, which no creature at the time of Scorch Earth releasing actually had. Its saddle is unlocked at level 40 and uses 85 clay, 150 fiber, 270 hide, 35 metal ingots and 125 wood. Coming in at number 4 on the list is the Mantis. This is not a standard taming as you need Deathworm Horns to be able to tame the Mantis, but it also has a very special ability. As you can see here, I've equipped swords onto the Mantis. You can equip any kind of melee weapon onto the Mantis for use of harvesting or attacking. This is very useful as it boosts the Mantis's damage output but also makes it a good harvester. The Mantis Saddle is unlocked at level 45 and requires 75 fiber, 120 hide and 35 metal. Coming in at number 3 on the list is the Rock Golem. The way how you tame this is you use a cannon, you trap it, you hit it in the face, eventually it will knock out and then you feed it rocks and then that's how you tame it. This is a very powerful creature, it walks quite slowly it's got an interesting taming method, only at this time used by the Titanosaur. And it goes really well with Scorched Earth's theme of being a desert and rocks. In later maps of Ark, there are other variants of these, but there are also Rubble Golems on Scorched Earth as well, but I'm pretty sure they're not tameable. Rock Golem Saddle is unlocked to level 70, requires 150 fiber, 270 hide and 35 metal ingots. I'm just briefly pausing this video to ask you to subscribe, it really helps out the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leave a like and a comment. Right, back to the video. Coming in at number 2 is the Wyverns. On Scorched Earth there are 3 variants, the Poison Wyvern, the Lightning Wyvern and the Fire Wyvern. Most people's favourite is the Fire Wyvern, due to it just being the kind of traditional, it breathes fire. It's kind of like the standard dragon. Also a popular opinion is the lightning wyvern. It's got a great attack, it fires lightning. If you attack one of these in the wild, you will know that this attack is deadly. It's also great for attacking creatures. These wyverns are also allowed in the boss arena, so that's useful. But if you want to beat the manticore, you can do it with wyverns. The poison wyvern is probably the least popular of the three fires poison like you'd expect but can be quite devastating compared to the fire and lightning wyverns you tame wyverns by stealing the eggs in the trench and you will need wyvern milk to raise them up and they have no saddles probably expected this but coming in at number one is the phoenix this is the only creature in arc to be tamed in this way basically when it's a heat wave, the phoenix will come out of the ground, will only be around for the heat wave, and you have to tame it by just blasting it with fire. There's actually a good Nooblets video on how to tame that, I will link that in the description. Also, another useful thing is it will smelt resources for you. This is a very useful feature in Scorched Earth, as structures decay. With that guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.